This could be the secret to you getting even more placements. What's going on fam? It's your boy Jay Will and we're back with another sync banger. Let's get into it. So let's say you've already gotten into a music library. Nice. Have you ever felt like your music was just dropped into a huge ocean of music? Just an endless sea of songs. You're not alone. And that's why today we're going to be talking about all things metadata. Who? Because the secret sauce into making your music float to the top so it can be seen is all in the metadata. So stick around because this is going to be a game changer for your sync licensing career. And let me take you way back in the early days when I was a rookie in the sync licensing game. I was super excited to finally get into a music library and I just started sending them as much music as possible. I was literally making between one to two songs a day because I figured it's probably just a law of averages. According to my calculations. As far as with what music gets seen in said library after X amount of songs. By like track 180, just reached out to them and was like, hey, I'm trying to be patient here, but I don't see any placements. What's going on? They're like, where's your music at? What do you mean? So I get on the catalog and I'm having trouble finding anything outside of just typing my name in. What? So that's when they told me, yeah, we have trouble finding your music. If there's no information on it, whether that be your actual name embedded into it or the title is actually interesting, we're not gonna find it. And let me tell you, after putting in all that blood, sweat, and tears, that was very hard to hear. Are you serious? You cannot be serious. But good thing for you, you can learn from my mistakes and not have to learn the same hard lesson. So let's get into exactly what metadata is. At its most basic level, metadata is a set of information that describes your music. Basically, is like your music's DNA. It tells everyone who you are, what your track is, and where it even belongs without even having to listen to it. Kind of like a musical GPS passport. And for me personally, there's three major types of metadata that need to be in your song if you want it to be seen. And I like to break them down into different categories. You have the descriptive elements, the technical elements, and then your admin elements. If you're digging this information so far, smash the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Let me know what else you want to learn about sync licensing, and we'll be able to drop more gems in later videos. The descriptive type of metadata is what most music supervisors will actually use to search for inside said library, because they probably don't know who you are, and they don't know the name of your song. Wait a minute. You. So how are you going to find it? By putting in stuff that your music sounds like, whether that be feelings, artists, genre, things of that nature. The descriptive side of your track is like its dating profile. Now the technical side of metadata is important as well. Things like file format, sample rate, things of that nature, so that they know if it works for broadcast standards or not. And now the most important part of metadata, after it's already been found, is how you get paid. And that's through the admin side of metadata, which basically holds all the business information that your song needs to have. Who owns it, who all wrote on it, and who needs to get paid. Accurate metadata is the most important thing you absolutely need. Because again, it's like GPS for your music. If you type in the wrong address, you're not going to end up where you want to be, right? Without it, your songs are going to either get lost in the shuffle or end up rickrolling somebody that is actually looking for something important. Let's be real. Everyone wants to put in all the metadata tags that they can so that they can be seen. But if you put in the wrong ones, you're either going to get blacklisted. Anytime your music pops up, they're going to be like, the metadata lied to me, so I can't trust anything I see in the library or they're probably just gonna get rid of a bunch of tags and keep it moving. You lie! I realized a really smart tactic that many top sync licensing producers make in order to get more placements. This tactic I like to use is called metadata tailoring. Huh? It's all about making the data work for you like a tailored suit that just fits right. So stay tuned, because it's gonna be huge. I bet, I got you. The other thing that I would highly recommend that you do when you're creating your metadata is to double check before sending it to libraries. Every library has a different way they would like it to be formatted and used. For instance, some libraries that I work with personally have an actual form or sheet that we fill out with tags that they've already created. So make sure after you get into a library, you ask these questions so that you can make sure that your music, again, is being seen in their catalog. Now let's get into this metadata tailoring. This is a customizing of your metadata specifically for that said library and this specific song and the kind of projects they work on, obviously. It fits perfectly. What I want you to do next time you're ready to log in a bunch of different information for your metadata, you can either use stuff like iTunes, disco.ac, or even I like to use Meta, which is an application for Mac. I'm not sure if it's on Windows, but it helps me to get everything done. What you want to do is you close your eyes, okay, listen to the song on playback, and then write all the feelings that are associated with the song that you're listening to at that moment. So you know how like a tailor would customize a suit to fit you perfectly. In order to do that, they need certain information to make sure that all the measurements are hitting right. It's about understanding the context of what the music's going to be used for, the emotion 
the energy and the potential usage of where that track is going to be used. The higher level of detail that you can put on your metadata, the higher rate of placements you're going to be able to get. So take your time. It's a little bit tedious, but it's totally worth the effort. Metadata may be a small part of getting your song actually finished, but it plays a huge role that I've personally seen in my success and my student success. It's critical for this information to be embedded into your songs because it helps music supervisors identify your track, understand where it can be used, if it's even available, and know who to pay when it gets placed. If you found this video helpful, in this video, we actually explain how music libraries work and some of the cons about them as well. So you might want to check that out.